Welcome back to our set here at Western Fair Raceway as we welcome our special guest of the evening. Uh, she's a native of London and you'll recognize her from TSN and uh, Jennifer Hedger. We want to welcome you, first of all, back home. Thank so you. To speak. It's and, so good to be back home. And your first time at the races here in London? It's, Is that yeah, correct? it's my first time at the races. I've been to obviously to Western Fair before. I mean, every every fall you go to the Western sure. Fair as a kid and as a teenager through high school but my first time at this racetrack seeing a race I've seen concerts okay uh, here but not a race so I'm looking forward to it awesome and now you grew up here you yeah. went went to Western how do you go from London to become one of the most recognized faces <laughs> on sports television well in it was it's kind of been a very uh, circuitous route but I'll tell you I started at the new PL in London and I was doing sort of their action van I was their Jeep girl there okay. during the summer and they were just about to start a morning show called New Day which I think probably is still on the air now okay. the, the new I... PL morning show and they were looking for a remote host so I auditioned for it and everybody was like oh you totally have this <laughs> you know you'd be perfect for the job and I nailed the audition and they called and I didn't get it they gave it to I remember Laurie DeAngelis and I was devastated and I thought that was it I would never be on TV again if I wasn't gonna be on the new PL and uh, so I was angry and I said screw this I'm gonna prove to them that uh, that they should have hired me so I started firing out tapes and uh, got a couple gigs was on off the record met Michael Landsberg and auditioned for TSN and here I am. So I could still be on London's Morning TV if I had got that job well, 10 years go. ago. <laughs> Good news, though, for TSN that it that worked out that That's way. That's right. Um, and, and it's interesting. There's a real, uh, I think, dynamic there at TSN, a lot of different personalities. And I wanted to ask you, for people that watch and, and see people like a, like a Jay Onright, for mm -hmm. example, he's yeah. a real character. Yeah. Is there someone that might surprise us that's a real character off camera? Or are they all pretty um, much as they as they seem? You know, we're pretty much as we seem. I would say Michael Landsberg is a, a really nice guy. Okay. You're not going to be a nicer guy, and people usually think he's going to be a real <laughs> jerk because he appears like one sure. on TV. Uh, Dave Hodge, who does our, uh, our hockey, you probably maybe remember him from his days at the CBC. Legend. Yeah. The legend is a huge rock music fan. Really? Like wow. he goes to rock and roll concerts all the time, so you might not expect that from sure. a guy who seems very buttoned up on air. Yeah. But Andre is as crazy as he appears. Dutchy is as pumped up and crazy as he yeah. appears. Um, so I would say we're, we're all we're all pretty much as we seem. Some of us have a few more layers to our. Sure. Us, uh, I'm sure you've had so many highlights. That this is a mm -hmm. tough question. Do you have a favorite moment though in the time sitting here with there? you, Greg? Oh wow! Obviously, he's going to rank in the top five at That's least. Incredible. <laughs> um, the, the greatest moment was uh, was the Olympics in November, yeah. in, uh, in November, in yeah, February, sure. um, and interviewing John Montgomery, who uh, who won the gold in skeleton for Canada. That interview, and he sort of came through the crowd with a big pitcher of beer and yeah. came up to my set, and and we just had this great interview, and the crowd was singing Oh Canada. And as a Canadian, that was my highlight. As a broadcaster, that was my highlight, uh, and obviously. My time at TSN for sure. Well, I can tell you, I was watching that, and uh, <laughs> that was fantastic. The whole Olympic experience was incredible. It uh, it looked as cool as it was. Awesome. That's for sure. Good stuff. Well, we're uh, we're a little bit low on time. Okay. We've got to let you uh, go here, but we're going to put you on the spot before you leave. Now, yes. again, you're you're not a, a big racing fan. You're kind of a newbie. <laughs> yeah, kind so, of. There's a huge under or a huge understatement. Yeah. So I'm not sure what tactic you're going to use. Okay, this here, is but my tactic. My tactic, and I'll tell you who I'm going for. I'm going for. Uh, for Moneymaker. AP's Moneymaker. AP's Moneymaker. And the reason I'm going for AP's Moneymaker is because I'm a big poker fan. I love playing poker. I love watching poker. And Chris Moneymaker uh, won the World Series of Poker in, I think it was 2005 he won it. And he's one of the guys I like to watch play cards. Okay. So I'm going with Moneymaker as, as my horse tonight. And please don't bet on Moneymaker just because I said so. This is just my gut. Okay. All right? So you like to Are gamble you? a little bit? I do like to gamble. Maybe we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah. get you to play a few, uh, few ponies tonight as well. Sounds good. Well, listen, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, and uh, I know everybody's excited uh, that you're back home here in London and with us tonight. So we want to wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me. I love being back in my hometown. All right. Jennifer Hedger, again, our special guest tonight as we continue on with Forest City Pace Night here at Western Fair.